This is Ravi here again from Marketing Services. So today I'm going to uh, give you a quick high level demo of the extract process in Unica. Now, as you all know that Unica has the most powerful segmentation engine. You know, all the processes available inside your flowchart to build your business tools are extremely powerful. Uh, I want to highlight specifically some advanced features of extract process, which can you know, help uh, our customers in a big way uh, to fine tune their flowcharts. So let me uh, drag and drop the extract process. So in this uh, test flowchart, I have only two tables. So I'm using my household as my base table and my individual as my dimension table. So let's say you have millions and millions of record in these tables and one of your marketing uh, audience is just you know high income household customers. So in the extract process, I'm going to pick customers maybe whose income is more than uh, 100K. So I'm going to pick household as my uh, input. And in the household, uh, I'm going to use household income greater than equal to 100K. All right, so I'm going to name this process household income greater than 100k uh, and the two tabs which I want to highlight is number one the extract tab so in the extract tab you can export all the attribute which you may want to use in your flowchart so let's use household id let's export number of members and maybe I can uh, mean household income uh, household income Okay, uh, maybe number of vehicles uh, and uh, length of residence. All right, so the idea here is that if in your flowchart you want to use this household data multiple times, you can use extract process uh, as your initial first process. Export all the attributes which you may want to use in your uh, follow-up processes or branches and then never go back and hit your base table again because the extract then, uh, it's a temp table, it can store your subset of the data. So you don't have to then hit the table which we might have way more, more records than this extract process. Now the other tab which actually is extremely important is the dimension tab. Now in the dimension tab, you actually can uh, link your dimensions table to the extract table. So now I'm going to use my individual, which is my dimension table, and I'm going to link uh, the extract table using the household ID. Okay, so what I have done is I have, number one, I have taken up subset of the data because my source, I'm pulling only my high income household customers. Then in the extract tab, I'm exporting fewer attributes. And then in the dimension, I'm linking the extract table, uh, the record in, with the individual table, which is my dimension table using household ID. I'm going to click OK here. And let's run this. So now I can use one select process under extract. I'm going to link these two together. And I'm going to open this. So what you see here is on the right hand side, you see this extract process is still there. And my uh, attribute or my column for the extract table, uh, you can see here. But then you also see the individual table mapped as a dimension to the extract. So, so basically you have now a subset of the data uh, which you can use in your flow chart. You don't have to go back to the household table again. You can keep using the household, the extract uh, table and the individual table which I have mapped as a dimension to the extract table. So very powerful feature. Uh, you can use it and this is uh, this is a very helpful uh, technique to fine tune your flowchart. Your flowchart will run much faster 
uh, using these extract processes. Okay, thank you so much.